You know, there's a song that kind of goes along the lines of uh, Here I am, my lonely uh, riders, Garrett or something like that. And so you find me here and Grandpa. And then the, the point of that intro is how do I say what I want to say? I don't know. So, FSD. Now, the main, the main point of the trip was to go visit Ray, Texas, which indeed does turn out to be just a hay field uh, north of Denison. Uh, no, nothing there indicates why it's called Ray. I mean, I guess uh, there was a truck that went by. I could have stopped the truck and asked him. Anyway, that's not the point of what we're talking about here. The point we're talking about is FSD. All right, so I tried real hard to let FSD do its thing. For those of you who don't know, I am on on FSD beta 11.3.6, which is what the current GA version, a uh, generally available version is. Uh, the guys who are more advanced in testing FSD, they're running 11.4.4. So they're, they're uh, several generations ahead. So, this was a, a, oh gosh, how how much was this? 500 mile trip? Here's trips, 573 miles, okay. It was a 573 mile trip. Um, it covered the whole day. Um, oh my goodness, I, I've forgotten when I got home, it was after seven, something like that. Um, and I left it like 8, 8.30 in the morning. So it's it's more, more than a 12 hour day if you look at it that way. Anyway, peace and harmony, that's not the point here. So, I started out with FSD. Uh, the usual uh, test, let's call it the Tesla uh, traffic light at West Reed Park Road and uh, FM 1431 which to the rest of us looks like a flashing yellow. But yes, the car it did its normal thing. Now, there was no traffic behind me, so I let it do its thing again. Yes, it throws up its, its I'm stopping for a traffic signal. Then when it gets close, it says, oh, oh, oh. Well, actually, it didn't say anything. It just takes down the thing and starts evaluating and starts going. Okay, whatever. That That's... As long as there's nobody right behind you, like there was the one day, um, no big deal. Okay, so I'm, I'm being around the bush. I'm sorry some of you wanted me to get to the point quickly, perhaps, because after all, there is there is uh, 573 miles of driving. So let's, let's start here. I would say roughly half of that mileage was done with FSD's help, or FSD beta. Uh, the other half, I just drove by my, I just drove on my own. So, if you haven't caught drift of this before, my feeling is FSD inherently, in its nature, is aggressive. Now, sometimes you need it to be aggressive. Okay, fine. But there are other times uh, I prefer ch more chill experience. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. Uh, going up into Dallas, for, so to get to Denison, you go up US 75, which means in Dallas, you do the I-30 east exit, and in less than half a mile, you're doing another exit to get on to 75 in a sort of roundabout way. Okay. Um, the way navigation labels this is confuse me. Especially coming back. Coming back, it said, oh, we're going to go on 30 eastbound to get the 30 westbound. As it, what it turned out to be is you went up an exit ramp and the left side was 30E and the west side was 30W. And all I really need to know is stick to the right lane, right? I mean, that's all I need to know there. And this, it was kind of similar in the 
northbound experience, all I really know, need to know is what lane to stay in. You don't need to tell me what where uh, 30W is. I don't care. It has no impact on me. Whatever. The signs do say it. Whatever, peace and harmony. I'm, I'm picking on one particular mile of road. And that's not the whole point here. Okay, so, as I said, FSD is very aggressive. For So, I am running 11.3.6. I am running in chill mode. Okay. What does chill mode mean to FSD? I'm not sure it means a whole lot. Now, I did watch, a, 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 there's a guy up in the Chicago area, a tech, tech geek Tesla, I think is who he is, and he's driving around downtown Chicago with FST on. Um, part of it sounds like, oh, you're doing what? Uh, and part of me is going like, yeah, that's, oh, there's complications, there's pedestrians, uh, it's nothing compared to driving on US 75. I mean, US 75 was crazy traffic. No. Is it really crazy? Crazy? No. I mean, when I was in college, uh, the one roommate I have had, um, he was from the DFW area. And he talked about traffic way back then. And uh, it's gotten a little better, I'm sure, but it's still there's tons of people and they're all going somewhere okay anyway peace and army all right so the drive up to Dallas um, I started out with my GoPro uh, turning it on to record uh, uh, interruptions or, or uh, interventions Inter so interruption is where you take over so she call it takeover sorry anyway uh, Interrupt FSD, okay. Um, interventions are, are like, you can use your accelerator to encourage uh, ego or FSD to, to move forward. So, when I say FSD is aggressive. So a lot of I-35 between Aust Aust Austin and Dallas it is 75 miles an hour. Now I'm I'm driving an electric car. Okay, can I can I go faster? Yes, definitely I can go faster. But what happens when you go when I go faster is I'm chewing up energy. It means I have to stop sooner. And, and you know what's the point? So in that 75 zone, I tend to be going 70. So. FSD and it's <laughs> I'm in shill mode but it's very aggressive it insists in order to go faster I need to be in the middle lane so if you if you're dry if you're coming up behind me and guess what you're probably in the middle lane coming up behind me because I'm in I was in the right lane well the FSD because it's safety oriented, right? Come on, Elon. Come on, Tesla AI. It's safety oriented. It's forcing me into the middle lane. Okay. Chances are if it's 75, let's just say you're being conservative today and you're only driving 75 in the 75 zone. You're coming up on me. There's somebody who's going just a little bit faster than me, passed me on the left. How do you pass me? You go on the right. I, the normal driver education training I've heard is you don't want people to pass you on the right. And, and, and the converse is true. You don't want to pass people on their right or to your left. But if the traffic's backed up, where else are you going to go? Okay. And this is just if you're, you're a run-the-mill driving 75, right? There are people driving down this road, 85, 90. I mean, the one guy came up behind me 
I mean, I saw, I saw his, I saw his car off in the distance, and I was, I saw his passing the car in the left lane, the inside lane. And it was like within three or four seconds, he was up on my bumper. Oh my goodness. And I'm doing, I'm doing 72, 73 at this point in the 75 zone. Uh, whoa. Now, the good news is this guy knows he's dealing with traffic, so he wasn't rude about it. I mean, he could have been, but he wasn't. He knows it's just a cost of driving. He just lived with it. At least that's what it appeared to be. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him later, right? But he was gone. All right, so... In that case, yes, I used my left turn signal light to get into the left lane. All right, so going up, I just let FSD do its thing. I really don't see where the safety concern from Tesla is, saying that it's better for me to be in the middle lane than to be in the right lane when I'm five miles under the speed limit. You know? Let alone, what if I was doing 55? You, I'm a grandpa after all. I mean, that's what people say. Old, old, old people... No. I mean, some old people maybe, but that's more of a stereotype than, than a reality, I think. Whatever, peace and harmony. Yes. I don't have to get anywhere quite that fast, so I don't have to be burned up the road. And so I drive that way, that's true. But whatever, that's not the point here. The point is because FSD has these really aggressive routes, it, it goes to the middle lane. Okay, so like I said, I'm, I've set my speed limit to 70. I'm in the 75 zone. So what FSD says is, oh, I'm moving you into the middle lane so we can go faster. You're already going at the max speed I set you to. You're doing 70 of 70. So moving in the middle lane does not make you go faster. Okay, so the one time I, I allowed FSD to switch. So going up mostly, I just let FSD put me in the middle lane. There wasn't that much traffic, so I just let him do it. But... The one time he said, oh, well, we're going to go to the middle lane so we go faster. Uh, did you look up ahead, maybe? There was a semi in the middle lane. The semi was doing a little bit slower than 70. So by moving into the middle lane, I'm actually going slower. So at some point, somewhere, please, you guys in Tesla, think about the logic of what you're doing. Okay. There's no reason to force me into the middle lane of three lanes if it's not going to increase my speed. Okay. So those of you who've seen these videos, you've heard this a lot already. I'm sorry. It's just it's what it, it's one of my real pet peeves about FSD. Okay. So let's see. Uh, was there major interruptions so there's there's a few interruptions where the car decided it's going to switch a lane and I wasn't expecting it and so the wheel jerks and I'm holding on to the wheel well that means when the wheel can't move it's interrupted okay <laughs> I mean and there was no reason for the for the movement whatever peace and harmony that's fine um, a lot of stuff it actually handles very well going around curves if, if I'm not holding on to the wheel too tight. So the secret I found is if you know it's going to be turning, so there's actually several secrets. But anyway, the secret I found is if I rest my hands on the three and nine position of the, of the stock, of the stocks, of the steering wheel, it doesn't sound quite right, but anyway, where 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 the wheel where the center wheel joins up to the edge of the wheel if i rest my hands there with a little bit of weight i don't get much nag and in fact i think i only got nagged two or three times on this trip um 
course, that sticks up when I got interrupted it. But anyway, peace and harmony. Um, all right, so that's that. So the, there's so anyway, if I'm not expecting it to to turn, and it does turn, then uh, it interrupted itself. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. It's fine. So coming into Dallas, I was already not trusting if. I, I, when it comes to traffic, I'm not used to FSD. I don't trust it enough. So letting it do its own thing is hard for me. And when you're wall-to-wall -wall traffic on three, sometimes four lanes of traffic going one way, my feeling is FSD is too, ten too tentative sometimes. It's not always synonym, but sometimes it is. Okay, so going back to Tech Geek Tesla out of Chicago, his, his statement is, the only way you can run FSD in downtown Chicago is aggressive. Is that the word? Aggressive? Autopilot? Assertive. Right? You have to be assertive. But his complaint is, his style of driving is is... You come up to a green light, you're going to turn left. You have to get in the intersection so when the other traffic stops, then you can go. I mean, I assume that's what he's doing. That's what it looked like. Um, great, okay. But I, I, I haven't even tried. I haven't even tried assertive. But I don't see the point. It's already so aggressive as it is. But like I said, I'm looking for a more chill experience. I'm not looking to be pushing people off the road or forcing people to go go turn to go around me to the right. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. So once uh, uh, once FSD was interrupted coming on the US 75, I just left it off. Right? I mean, what? I don't know. I mean, there's so much traffic. And, and I'm not wanting to go back and forth to gain two spots up the road. What's what's the point of all that? And I have no faith in Tesla doing it. Because a lot of the passes I, I'm doing on I-35, I'm initiating with my with the turn signal. It's not it's not Ego FSD who's initiating, I'm initiating it. And supposedly FSD is supposed to be looking out and saying, oh, let's do this, let's do that. Okay? As far as I can tell, he's not looking forward very far. So, hey, whatever, peace and army. All right, US 75, fine. Um, you know, once traffic becomes more predictable, because what, what's going on is, is as soon as people think there's an accident in front of you, front of you Oh, they're diving from the inside lane all the way across to the exit. They're, they're just cutting across. I don't see how they survive. I don't see how their car survives. Right? I mean, there's there must be a lot of other people going, Oh, I know that I know what that car's going to do, and I'm going to let him go. Because most of these people are going like, No, I was here first. Right? I mean, that's the way they are. I, 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 Dallas crazy. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. It doesn't matter. If you've been, if you've been in this part of te te uh, Dallas, you know this. Uh, as as a, as a, one of the guys I know, Far Farzad, he said, uh, yeah, people in Texas drive crazy. Yes. <laughs> they, they, they have somewhat gotten not so stupid, not so crazy, right? I, I, I remember a trip up to Dallas, up to Dallas, I guess it was, um, what, 10, 15 years ago, and it seemed like there was three or four rear-end collisions along that, along that drive going north. And you know what it is? It's people tailgating. People want to tailgate, and then the guy in front of you has to stop or, or chooses to stop, whichever one, doesn't matter why. And because you're right there, there's no room for you to go. You're into the back. You just caused an accident that's blocking the road or 
partially shutting down the road, thanks a lot. Whereas if you just followed at a reasonable following distance, we all would have kept moving. So that's, that's my uh, public service announcement. Sorry. All right, so anyway, 75. 75 North, okay, fine. Uh, speaking of, although I don't know that's what happened, US 75 northbound was shut down for a period of time, about 10, 12 minutes. Um, oh man. I mean, we came to a stop and I was, when people were going to a stop in front of me, the, we were just coming up to an exit. If I had taken that exit, but I don't know. I assume that the ex the slowdown was because of construction. If you if you looked at the at the navigation, it's an indication we're we're going off off the highway onto some local road and then back onto the highway, which didn't make any sense until I got there. Like, oh, you mean we're detouring? And that's what it looked like. But so I already had the idea that's what we're doing. So I thought maybe it was just a detour. Well, no, it turned out somebody decided to have an accident and so they shut down the road while they cleaned it up. At least that, that's what it looks like because uh, there was no cars when we got there. But you could see all, all the smashed glass them and sort of swept over to the side of the road, but not completely. I mean, whatever, peace and harmony. I mean, you saw a fire truck, you saw a police, police car. But the guys who, who got over on the on the exit, they were all stuck out there on this frontage road area trying to go, go past. Oh my goodness. So, it would have been nice if, so, yes, the Tesla navigation turns the road red sometimes, but it seems to have a hard time judging when to do it. Unlike Waze, Waze would, Waze would show you better. But whatever, that's, that's just a feature that would be nice to have someday. Okay, anyway, FSD. All right, so as I, as I was getting to uh, North Denison, um, I came to realize there is an Eisenhower State Park up there, okay? So in addition to going to Ray, or driving by Ray, let's put it that way, because it was it was a hay field out. It was I would have to go through trees on somebody's property to get out to this hay field, and um, this is Texas. You don't do that. It's not the King's Ranch. Okay, for those of you who don't know, the King's Ranch, uh, along with Eturia, I think it is. Anyway, there's like three big ranches between um, Raymondville and is it Sinton? Refugio? Something like that. Down South Texas. Okay. When I was young, what they said was, you don't go across that barbed wire fence on the King's Ranch. If you go across that wire, they'll shoot you, they'll bury you, nobody will find you. You're gone. And it's their right, it's their property. So, you don't do that. Not in Texas. <laughs> so, that's the way, that's the way I saw this, was like, I'm not going to go across somebody's trees into somebody's hay field to say I've been to Ray, Texas. So, it's enough to say I was next to Ray, Texas. And there's nothing there anyway, so doesn't make any difference but I can say because I'm Ray I've been I've been by Ray Texas that that was that was the uh, the funny part of this trip I guess you could say okay so whatever so it turns out Dwight D Eisenhower was born in Denison Texas now I didn't go by his birthplace home I was already feeling the time pressure to get through Dallas which you know in retrospect I should just take another half hour and just explore, right? Because I end up getting into Dallas just before five o'clock, so it was crazy traffic. Whatever, peace and harmony. But while I was at the state park, yes, I had FSD for a little while. I had it on, 
And it, so it's on a two lane road, it's not marked. I mean, there's no paint lines. And FST was happy, happy doing 25 miles an hour, just following the curves around, no big deal. So it worked fine there. All right, so while I'm here, while I'm in Eisenhower State Park, so you're on Lake Texoma, which is on the Red River, which runs between Texas and Oklahoma. So um, Lake Texoma is formed by a dam. So I went across that dam, went into Oklahoma. Um, you know, I, I tend to think of Texas not being all that, the roadside not being all that great. I mean, people throw out trash all the time. They allow the grass to grow up. Um, it was even worse on Oklahoma's 91. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. So eventually I worked my way around. I hit US 75 and came across US 75 back into Texas. Okay, so from then on I was, I, I was going. Um, did I run... Oh, I stopped on Melissa. I forgot I stopped on Melissa. Okay, whatever. So uh, I was letting uh, navigation run as much as I could. Uh, letting FSD run a fair amount. I mean, why not? People are more or less going all in the same direction. It's just the mix of driving speeds. So, uh, that, that, that's okay. Um, so, as I'm as a, I, well, I guess I'm in Dallas City Limits, in Dallas on US 75, um, I'm letting FSD drive, um, so I'm in the second lane from the right, or the first, no, second lane, so whatever, um, so I'm towards the outside, knowing that we're heading towards a right side exit, I mean, we're still seven miles away, five miles away, whatever it is, but whatever, FSD sees an opening, he goes, oh, I'm gonna go left, boom, and he goes. So he passes all the cars, all these cars, wow, congratulations. Way to go, hot rod. Then we get down there, and oh, that's right, we're gonna go right. How are you gonna get there? Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay, FSD doesn't say anything. It doesn't, it doesn't admit to its failures. It didn't even give an indication that there was a problem yet. But I knew there was a problem. Why? Because all those cars you just passed, they're, they're all bumper to bumper. Whereas if you just stayed in the right lane, yes. Would it have taken a while? Yes. But because of the aggressive nature, now, now we got to work through it. Anyway, but it wasn't that big a deal. Um, I think somebody's saying, wait, that's a Tesla T symbol on the back of that car. I better back off from that one because you don't know what he's going to do. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. But they were nice enough to give me some room to get in, and so I did. Okay, so another, another situation of having a hard time figuring out what the proper lane is to be in um, at first it seemed to indicate that I wanted to be in the rightmost lane as I'm coming out onto I-30, so to speak. Although it was, it was really kind of a French road. Uh, but then I see a sign to the left that says I-30. Then I-35E I uh, to Waco. So I switch. And just about the time I switch, then I recognize, oh, that lane is actually going to I-35 over there. Well, both lanes actually end up on I-35 uh, southbound. It's just, it's just confusing. Uh, there's no way. I, I, I contemplated taking, uh, was it 635 I think it is, is the loop around Dallas. That looked like it was really long. I mean, maybe I shouldn't make it sound like that bad, but it was kind of long. Anyway, peace and harmony. Uh, at this point, I'm I'm driving. I'm not trusting FSC anymore. I, I 
I'm sure, I don't even think FSD knows what navigation is telling him. And I sure don't know what navigation is telling me, although I can kind of read signs. Okay, whatever. So once we get south of uh, Dallas, once things start uh, thinning back out, so to speak, um, I put FST back on. Okay. So, at some point, I was thinking about, you know, there's a, um, what is it? Minimal lane changes for current drive. You know what? When I first got FSD, that was the fourth option. Minimal lane changes. All right, so anyway. So I tried putting on minimal lane changes. Okay, so for those of you who have been in Waco in the past, uh, oh gosh, has it been a year? It's been over a year already. There was a lot of construction on, on I-35 of redoing all the exits, ramps, overpasses, all that chunk. I mean, I don't know how extensive it was, but it was a lot. So, here I am. I have minimal lane changes for current drive. So, when, when, you, when it says it's going to switch to the middle lane, and you push the right turns, that turn, press the turn signal up for right, it throws up a little thing on the lower left of the screen saying, giving you choices. So at one point I pressed, I want minimal lane changes. Okay, cool. So we're coming into Waco. So I've told, I told the car, no, 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 no. Minimal lane changes. Okay. So that means he can't say, oh, I'm routing to the left for tra for, uh, uh, traffic or because it'll be faster in the middle lane. So guess what it does now? Although it could be because of the construction, and to be fair, about seven miles, no, not far, not that far, maybe four miles down, yes, the rightmost lane was closed. So that was four down to three. I guess what, I'm in three. So anyway, so now the car says, Switch, uh, switching left, whatever he said, to continue route. So, from my viewpoint, it looked like it just used a different argument to pull off the same thing it wanted to do. It wants to be in the middle lane. It's desperate to be in the middle lane. Why? I don't know. It doesn't have to be. And if I'm limiting the speed, you're not increasing the speed. So there's no reason. But anyway, peace and harmony. Um, that time around, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't avoid it. It, it did it. Um, so when the car doesn't want you to, to um, override it, now maybe I'm just making a value judgment where it doesn't belong. But it feels like when the car doesn't want you to make override it, it makes the change. So it's, it pops up, boom, boom, gone. And it's faster than you can uh, uh, acquire what it's doing. Whatever, peace and harmony, it's all good. So it was desperate. And so after a little ways, yes, I turn on the right turn signal. I switch back to lane I was in. I got no advantage out of it that I could see. Although I'm sure FSD, when he goes talk to his buddies, he goes, oh, did you see I did the Ray? Okay, no, it doesn't do that, right? It's software. It just feels that way sometimes. It feels so childish. But anyway, peace and harmony, it's all good. Um, so somewhere around uh, Temple, it pulls the same thing again. Okay fine. You know what? It's easy. The only way the software is running is because I invoke it. If I get, if I get tired of it, I just turn, I just turn it off. You know, whatever. So, what I, 
FSD a lot of the time is very useful. And so normally when I'm doing these, I've been doing grades, right? So what I'm telling you is I ran FSD roughly about half the trip. Okay, so 250 miles out of 500. Um, is, and, and the main reason for turning off was I got tired of dealing with its, its aggressiveness. And the strange thing is, this is what's really weird to me. When I want to be aggressive, so there's an opening. I want to go through that opening. Um, I'm coming up on a semi. There's a pickup in the in the left lane. He must be running FSD. <laughs> okay, whatever piece in army. No, he was, it was a Ford, I think. But anyway, he he's in the, he's in the, he's in the left lane, and I guess his intent is to pass this semi. And oddly enough. I'm coming up on this semi faster than he is. Right? So I'm, I, I'm probably doing closer to 75 at that moment. But FS, when I turn my left turn signal, FSD didn't respond. Okay. Hit the brake. Boom. FSD's out. Switch lanes. Accelerate out. Go. And I'm gone. Now, why did FSD not want to do that? I don't know. It's It's... One of the few places where, oh, dude, I'm chilling. I, I'm chilling. I don't, I don't need to pass this on my, I'm okay. No, go, go, go. I want to get home. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. So, it's, 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 it's a weird, it's a weird relationship between me and FSD, where a lot of the time I feel like FSD is being overly aggressive I, I really wish somebody in Tesla would sit down and realize that not everybody is exceeding the speed limit by 20 miles an hour. Now, did I have people pass me who were doing over the speed limit? Yes, absolutely. I recognized that, got out of their way, um, whatever. Oh, so I should say this, speaking of people who come up on you quickly. FS, FSD did recognize that while we're in the left lane passing somebody, when somebody came up on us, he wanted to get over to the middle lane. Okay? So, this place, this spot was pretty good. I mean, other than the one time we hadn't passed the semi, and he already turned, no, he turned on turn signal, maybe he's just signaling. It hadn't beeped yet, so I set mine to beep when it's going to turn. Um, so maybe, maybe I'm just overreacting to it. I'll give you that, but I, I don't know. Whatever, peace and harmony. I, 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 I. So, um, yeah. So there were some people who were really crazy out there. And that's why I like to stay in the right lane. Let me stay in the right lane. Oh, I did have a, I did have a truck pulling a trailer who came up on, while well, I was in the right lane, passing a semi. Oh my goodness, imagine that. So the semi was in the middle lane, he was going slower. Uh, FST said it's faster in the middle lane? Yeah. Except when the semi's get in the middle lane and they fall asleep, then yeah, it's not faster there. So anyway, I'm passing a semi on the right, there's somebody else passing the semi on the left, and somebody pulling this in a pickup drive, pulling a trailer, he, he he decides to follow me. I don't know what, maybe he just thought he could do it. So he, he gets up close to my bumper, and as soon as he feels like he has enough room, oh, he's popping through that opening. And then he decides he has to be back in the outside lane. This guy's pulling a, a RV trailer, or whatever you call it. Right? That's notoriously unstable. Whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, because I, 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 I feel like I had to back off. Uh, I braked, unhooked FSD. And we're getting close to Temple. So um, I can see that we were... Uh, 
the estimated arrival was 8%, I think. And we're in the range where the probably the least was 5 or 6% when we got there. So um, I sped up. It didn't take all that long to catch up to this guy. <laughs> you know, he's not going, he's not going that fast. So why, why do you, why do you do it drive crazy if you're not going that fast? Whatever, peace and harmony, it's okay. So it looked a lot like as soon as he realized Grandpa's coming up on him, he, he sped up again. So, um, fortunately, he was not going to Bucky's. I thought maybe they're going to Bucky's. He's driving over the place. Maybe they're desperate to go to the bathroom or something. But no, he didn't. And why, why am I saying it? We're in Texas. What do you do if you're mad at somebody in traffic? You shoot them. Okay, not all the time, but people do that. So, you know, like when I came up on this guy again, I didn't have to pass him. But then again, once, I don't know, maybe, maybe you woke up and said, oh, I must have to drive him fast. Maybe, maybe you kind of fell asleep, who knows. But it's also possible once he saw the black uh, Model 3 fall, coming up on him, he said, oh, I, I almost pushed that guy off the road. I better get out. I better show that I, I really am going fast. Whatever. Peace and harmony. It's okay. It's all right. So now it comes to the point. So the parts that FSD does well, I mean, it does a great job of driving down the road, maintaining speed. Um, let's call that an A minus for right now. It appears that the rear view of his vision is kind of limited to one or two car lengths right that's what it feels like so he he can't see the person coming up fast the 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 people who are coming up in the middle lane when you're in the right lane he he doesn't see them it feels either he can't see them or he really wants to ha ha let me get in front of you I'll slow you down I don't know which one it is okay that's kind of a C minus The aggressiveness of having to be in the middle lane when there's no advantage to being in the middle lane, I gotta give him an F. Now, is he still driving? Yes, he's still driving. We're getting there, but for every five people, let's, well, let's make it even, okay? For every six people who are doing at least the speed limit, if not more, coming up behind me, because Ego wants to be in that middle lane. At least two of those people have to go by me on the right. So, in terms of safety on an interstate highway, when trying to run in chill mode, it's an F minus. This it's horrendous. Now, did I die? No, I didn't die. Did the car be get involved in the wreck? No, it didn't but you're pushing your odds you need to you need to figure out a better way okay um the ability to figure out where it's going using navigation because of its aggressive nature it wants to get ahead of people it wants to go forward as fast as possible and hey it's a model 3 performance it has great acceleration but um Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, my friend's car just popped up message on my phone. But anyway, overall, for, for, I mean, part of my intent was to see what it's like driving on Interstate Highway today, or yesterday. Okay, it was a mixed bag. So let's say, let's, let's say it's a C minus for driving on the Interstate. Now, there are times when it's great, but there are times when it's just awful. Now, a lot of the other, a lot of the rest of the United States, 
I'm going to be on four lane highway. So there's only be only the inside and outside lanes to deal with. So Ego won't be able to say, oh, I'm going to put you in the middle lane because it's a safer, better, whatever, because there won't be a middle lane. I'm guessing he's going to say, let's go in the fast lane. <laughs> the fa Let's do 70 miles per hour in, in 75 zone in the fast lane. Okay. Come on, guys. I know that's the way all of you engineers drive. I get it. If you if you leave if you leave San Francisco or the Bay Area, you're, you're probably doing 90, 100 on the highway. And maybe Chip doesn't care. That's California Highway Patrol. But not everybody wants to be doing 100 miles an hour in the 70 zone. Yes, I bought a Tesla. Yes, I like to accelerate. Yes, I like to drive fast in some situations. But when I'm out on the highway taking a trip, I'm not in that mode. Okay, whatever. So I'm I'm I want to call it a C minus day. Overall, overall FSD is is pretty good. Overall, I like it. But it's, it's those small little negatives that just, oh my goodness, what are we doing? Okay, onward upper charge.